There is a lot of echo in this room, fan running in the background, and the audio is being recorded into an old broken phone. How do you fix all of this without installing any software, without learning anything, without having to download anything, and without using any expensive gear? That too, absolutely for free. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? There's a new tool by Adobe, and at the moment of recording this video, at least, it is free. I don't know how long it will be free, so use it while you can. All we have to do is to upload our crappy audio there, and it does everything automatically online. This is how it sounds without any processing, and this is how it sounds with Adobe Speech Enhancer. But that's not the whole story. Adobe's website says speech enhancement makes voice recordings sound as if they were recorded in a professional studio. But what does it actually include? Does it include removing plosives like picks imperfect? Can it handle sibilance like two sharp S sounds? What about accidental taps on the microphone or handling noises like this? Can it fix it if I'm too far away from the microphone? Let us test it all and I have something extremely important for you that we all have to keep in mind towards the end of the video. Let's get started for now. This my friend is the ever so popular super expensive $5 microphone from Amazon. Please don't buy such microphones. The lower frequencies have possibly left the job and the higher frequencies are on a strike making a lot of noise and probably it has a lot of itself noise as well and this is how it sounds without any processing. And this is how it sounds with Adobe's speech enhancement. Now I'm going to share with you how you can upload and get your speech enhanced audio later in the video. But for now, let's observe the audio and let me know how it sounds in the comments. And this is a more realistic situation where you may have a little bit of echo in the room, but you can minimize that by bringing the microphone closer to yourself and decreasing the input level of the microphone. But still, there is a little bit of echo. This is how it sounds after enabling Adobe Speech Enhancer. It may sound better, it may sound worse, I don't know. You tell me, I won't know until I'm editing the video. So let me know how it sounds in the comments. Printed paper under pressure makes pens prickle. Printed paper under pressure makes pens prickle. Just for reference, this is how it sounds when the microphone is closer to me. Now I'm gonna place it further. Now it's about a meter away. I'm gonna go a little back and let me know how it sounds. Microphone is further away from me. I might increase the volume so that you can hear how it sounds like. Now, before we apply Adobe Speech Enhancement, know that this room is relatively treated and you might not hear a lot of echo, but there's a slight construction work going outside and at the same time, you might hear slight difference because the microphone is further away. You might hear a lot of difference. So this is how it sounds without any processing and this is how it sounds with Adobe Speech Enhancement. Let me know if there is an improvement or if you hear a difference at all. I don't know and I won't know until later in the video when I'm working on it. Let me know how the audio sounds in the comments. Sometimes when you're working with a mic like this, you may have to deal with handling noise. And even if you're using a laugh mic and it's clipped to your clothes, the movement of your body will make some noise. The clothes will add some noise. So let's see if Adobe can handle that. So this is without any processing. And this is how it sounds with Adobe Speech Enhancement turned on. Let me know if it has removed the handling noise from the audio. Dapping the microphone without the enhancement and dapping the microphone with the enhancement. Do you hear a difference? So right here on this laptop, we're gonna play some construction sounds to simulate how it would sound outdoors when we are recording in an indoor situation. Now we have to be realistic and I have not kept it very loud still. It is loud and actually louder if there was construction going outdoors. Let us see how Adobe Speech Enhancement handles that. And this is how it sounds with the processing. It is still going on and right now you're hearing the audio with Adobe Speech Enhancement enabled. Let me know how it sounds. What if I say, hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect. I hope you're having a great day and making it a beautiful one. And there is construction which is disturbing going on outdoors. I hope the audio is a little better. Let us go ahead and discuss it. Let's see how good of a tool this one is. This, my friend, is the sibilance test. Sorry for the harm to your ear. Sibilant sentences for testing sound. Sibilant sentences for testing sound. Sibilant sentences for testing sound. Sibilant sentences for testing sounds. Do you hear a difference? Sorry about that. It is not just removing the bad parts of the audio, but it's also making it sound like, I think, as if I'm recording on the ever so popular Shure SM7B or a standard dynamic podcast microphone. I may be wrong. Let me know how it sounds to you. But in what ways? In what ways it is removing stuff? In what ways it is changing the audio? 
Let us take a look at the waves. So this is the audio that I recorded with the $5 lav mic. Let us go ahead and take a listen. So right now the audio is going straight into the $5 lav mic. I'm also keeping a pause in between to see how much noise it picks up. As you can tell, there are some artifacts. There's also a lot of noise. The whole audio is completely out of balance. The high frequencies are too enhanced. Now, let's listen to it again, and then we're gonna switch to the Lav Test Enhanced, which is the Adobe Enhanced version. Because I've spoken too much, you might have lost the reference. So right now, the audio is going straight into the $5 Lav mic. I'm also keeping a pause in between. All right, let's move to Lav Enhanced. So right now the audio is going straight into the $5 lav mic. I'm also keeping a pause in between. The first thing you would notice is that the artifacts are gone. If you look right here, at this point, there was an artifact. Let's listen. Mic, mic. Let's play it again. $5 lav mic. I'm See that? This area? That is gone right here. Let's take a look at this one. $5 lav mic. I'm... It is a little bit abrupt, but it takes it away. Secondly, you might notice throughout the audio, it has tamed the higher frequencies. It sounded too sharp, piercingly sharp. Let's take a listen. To see how much noise it picks up, also it might have a self noise as well. So let's see how the audio sounds. Also, let's see how it picks. Do you hear the piercings in between? Now, this is the enhanced version. To see how much noise it picks up. Comparison. To see how much noise it picks up, also, to see how much noise it picks up. As you can tell, it makes the overall voice smoother, removes the harshness, and of course, removes the noise. So right here, see, to see how much, there's a lot of noise, crumpling, so all that is gone. The end of the audio test. There is a little something to keep something, pause in between, but mostly, even if you look at the spectral view, it's gone. Now one question came into my mind and I'm sure you might be asking this as well. What if I record high quality audio in a studio environment? Now this is not exactly a proper studio but this room is fairly treated. This is an okay microphone. So what happens if you just input a decent audio inside of Adobe's speech enhancement or Adobe podcast, whatever you wanna call it? What happens? Does it improve it or make it worse? So this is the audio from this microphone in this room which is treated and that's how it sounds. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to use the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now although this video is centered towards audio, we managed to include it because no Pix Imperfect video is complete without curves. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to use the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now although this video is centered towards audio, we managed to include it because no Pix Imperfect video is complete without curves. So as you can hear, the second one was enhanced version. Let me know which sounded better to you. If you ask me, the first one, the raw original audio from this microphone sounded way better than the processed one because the processed one made it more unnatural. So if you look at the natural one again, you would notice that there's a point where I took a little breath. Let's listen to it. Adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now listen to it again. Now now, when it was processed by Adobe, it kind of broke it in an artificial way. Photoshop. Now, although the photo listen to it again, it broke it. This is the original one. This is the processed one. It was trying to remove it, but it couldn't fully because it's hard to detect when you have breath noises. Also, if you listen to it closely, it has removed the crispness from the voice or the sharpness, a little bit of sharpness that we need. Let me make you listen a new sample. This is the original one. Hi to the awesome people at Pix Imperfect. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day and making it a beautiful one. And this, my friend, marks the end of this audio test. Hi to the awesome people at Pix Imperfect. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day and making it a beautiful one. And this, my friend, marks the end of this audio test. So let me know which one sounded better to you. It is absolutely personal preference. The audio that you're listening to right now is also the same unprocessed audio directly from the microphone. In my opinion, if you have a clean, decent audio, I would rather prefer to process it myself than uploading it to Adobe's speech enhancement. 
at least at the moment of recording this video. You never know what the future will hold. Whatever the situation may be, whatever the future holds, there is one thought that holds true in the photography world and I'm sure it holds true in the audio world as well. In the photography world, we say that nothing beats getting it right in camera. If you can fix it in camera, if you can get it right while you're taking the shot, it's always better. So similarly with audio, if you can get it right in the raw audio file, that's best. I'm sure you must have figured it out by now, but if you're like me and you do appreciate proper instructions, this is it. All you need to do is to go to podcast.adobe.com. You may need to sign in. This is free at the moment. And you can request access for the main Adobe podcast tool by clicking on request access and applying all your details. But for now, you can use two tools. The number one tool is AI-powered audio. You can click on try it out. And this is speech enhancement. So all you need to do to enhance the speech right here is just click on upload, upload whatever audio you want, and it will process it for you. The second tool right here, just simply click on quick tools, is mic check. So let's click on that. It's gonna test your mic as you record and tell you how good or bad of a recording you have. So let us start and let's test it right now. It says, click on the button and say this. How is my microphone set up and placement? Let's go ahead and test it. Hi there, this is Anmesh from Pix Pix Imperfect. I hope you're doing fantastic. So let's see. I broke up a little bit in between. I hope that doesn't affect the test results. That is good. Check mark everywhere. I'm not flexing. This was just a simple test and I went with the flow. I think there's nothing to conclude here. Adobe Podcast is an incredible tool. It creates balanced audio, removes noise. It may not be 100% perfect, but it's the best processing tool that I have seen. Now keep in mind, this is different from NVIDIA Broadcast. We made a video about it. Actually, we made a short about it. it was, it's a funny one. You should watch that later. That's different. That does it real time. It's more towards streamers. It cleans up the audio. It is extreme. It does need NVIDIA graphics cards. This is more for processing the audio. Both are for completely different audiences. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. This video is made possible by all of these amazing people and they support Piximperfect on Patreon, making all of this content possible. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.